Hello, my name is Ken Adams, and I am here to introduce you to three amazing use cases for creators to utilize NFC technology. It's super cheap and easy. Not sure what I'm talking about? Check out how I do it. Anyone with an NFC reader on their phone can scan any one of my paintings, and it's taken straight to the Digital Collectibles asset page that has links to my website, socials, and even more. If you're not into NFTs, that's no problem. Have the chip direct your fans straight to your website, and there you go. First, for all artists and creators, you can use this to connect your physical art with your digital community. Don't let the point of sale be the last time you connect with your fans. Show them that with one scan, they can be connected to your website. That's where they'll find anything that you put on there from shows that you're gonna be attending, any future artwork that you've produced, um, anything else that a collector might wanna know. And yes, this is actually much better than just like duct taping a business card to the back dust cover. You know, you're, you're creative, you'll figure this out. Second, for anyone who's already into digital collectibles, AKA NFTs, and you've already printed some of your favorite works of art, you can create your own digital twin by linking the physical asset with the NFC tag to the digital asset. This immediate connection adds utility and provenance, especially if you intend to sell it. Or if you want to help your loved ones know more about what's hanging on your walls, uh, you know, should you not be there in the future? Yeah, I'm talking about legacy planning. And this makes it easier for the technically savvy person to communicate with a not so technically savvy person. Finally, for the physical artists who are already in the Web3 space making digital twins, no matter what chain you're on, if there's an NFT of a physical piece of work of yours, take the final step to make this connection. Add an NFC tag of some kind so that your fans are only one step away from proof of ownership, from provenance, from sales history, from a lasting connection with you as the artist. In this video, I'm gonna show you one product and one app, neither of which I'm affiliated with. And I'm gonna assure you that there are many, many more options. Anyway, I'm giving away the farm here. I learned from my own mistakes, investing a lot of time and a lot of money, and it's gonna seem really simple once you see this, but I don't want any of you to pay the same price that I did. I have an Android phone, and I use the app NFC Tools. This app allows me to scan and read any NFC chip. It allows me to write and lock blank or unlocked NFC chips. There are many other features in the app, but write and lock are the only two that you need to learn for this process. All right, so I went to Jeff's site and I picked up a 50 pack. It's actually like 25, mil or 25 millimeter, very super, super thin sticker with the RFID chip, the NFC chip. There are so many options, colors, sizes, durabilities. You choose what's best and what's on budget for you. But these work exceptionally well for what I'm gonna show you today. So before we lose the artist in the first category who aren't into Web3, NFTs, or digital twins, um, let's, let me just show you how quick and easy this actually is. You open up the app, set an NFC tag in front of you, you click write, you add a record, you click URL, you fill in your web address. Then you click right, scan the chip, and you're done, ish. So next I wanna test the link and make sure that it works. I close the app and then scan the chip and it takes me to the site. Now, one last step that's probably not hacker proof, but is something you should do, and that's to lock the chip. Just click other, lock tag, click yes. I mean, you should probably read it first, but then click yes, and then scan the chip. Now you're done. So put your creative hat back on. Um, place this chip anywhere on your physical piece that makes sense to you. I like to tuck them between the canvas and the frame where the signature is or would be and then add the dust cover, but you do you. So if you're still here and you're into digital collectibles and NFTs already, I bet you already figured out what I'm gonna say about how to write your chip, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Go back to the start of the last chapter and repeat. Now the difference for those of you who already printed or bought your physical piece of art just write the precise URL for the digital asset instead of a website. And now you have created your own linked digital twin. The world is yours here. With all of the options beyond read, write, lock, you can go to town. For 75 cents each and a little phone time, you can start the journey of legacy planning, proof of ownership, documentation, and countless other options. The ball is in your court. For those of you who are already in the Web3 game, who are artists and creators, 
one more is there for me to explain. If your NFT's metadata is already loaded with connections to your socials, your website, marketplaces, PDFs, music, or whatever else, the URL leading to the asset will be more than enough, and your fans will genuinely appreciate the time and effort that you put into leveling up their experience. And I know you're already thinking about 100 different, better, cooler, amazing use cases, and that's what I'm trying to do is get you started, use that app, use the technology, and make those connections. But for 75 cents each, being able to deliver a linked digital twin to your audience, that's a no-brainer. Okay, friends, thank you for your time. If you've been using NFC technology and physical assets, let me know about your project in the comments below. I'd love to see what other options are already out there as we build the future for our children. Have an amazing day.